Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and today I'm going to show you how to work with the particle system in Blender. So this is part one of a two-part series that I'm going to do. And the reason it's two-part is because if I would do it as one video, it would be past ten minutes and I couldn't put it up. So it's just two parts. And this first part is going to show you how to work with the particle system. And the second part is going to show you how to work with the materials for the particle system, since they react differently to particles than normal meshes and uh, objects. So before I get started, please comment and rate this video, subscribe to my page, add me as a friend, and check out my blog at cganimator.blogspot.com. Leave a comment there, check out the ads, and all that stuff, and keep watching my tutorials. So let's get started. So delete the default cube, and add a UV sphere. Press space, add mesh UV sphere okay so let's give it a particle system go to this tab right here right next to the editing tab go to the particle tab right here and press add new so all these buttons appear and I'm going to show you how those work right now as best as I can so if you press alt a there's little dots here and there's nothing too special about that I mean you know and if you notice that they all appear at the edge of the face so yeah so if you want those to come out you just turn the normal up right here so press normal and I'm going to turn it up to about one press alt A and there you have it but it goes along the edge right in a certain form and that doesn't look so good unless you want that effect you can keep it like that but if you don't and you want it to come out randomly at once just go to emit from, press a random, and press all day. And they come up random. But as you can see, they're at different levels. So if you want it to be even, just press even. And it can be jittered, it can be random or on, a, on the grid, but jittered is fine for now. So there you go. It's pretty cool. Zoom out a little bit. Now, if you, you can have it emit from the volume, from the faces, or from each individual um, vertex but the faces is fine if, especially if you have like a cube and you have to have it emit from faces or else it just comes out from each individual vertex and there's only like eight vertex vertices on a on a cube so and there's this button here and there's emitter reactor hair I'm gonna deal with hair on a different tutorial so don't worry about that uh, and here's the basic uh, configuration you can change the amount. I'm gonna turn it to 2000 since my computer can handle particles pretty well. That's pretty good. Now, this this is start, and this here is end. And what this means is this is the start frame, and this is the end frame. That means it starts emitting particles at frame one and it stops emitting particles at frame 100. So, if I were to turn this to 25 and turn the end to 25 that means all the 2000 particles would come out at once in one frame it would get, give it a small explosion see and then yeah so and then it just stops and that's because then they stop because the life is only on 50 frames that means the particles are only in the scene 50 frames and then they delete themselves so if you turn this to like 100 or 1000 Go to frame 25, and they just keep going and going and going and going and going. But I'm just gonna put the default back on. Okay. Now random here. That's the um how random each particle's life is. If you have it on two, which is the highest it goes, then you can have one particle only last for three frames, and the other one last for 50 frames. It's all, it all depends on how much life you have. It goes from 1 to 50 or 1 to 100 if you turn life to 100. But uh, ran that's cool if you have smoke and fire and unpredictable materials, but that's fine for now. Random, that's how random the particles come out. Let's put that to 0.2. That's cool. Rotation, how they rotate as they go, but that's fine for now. 
you can turn the rotation dynamic and have it rotate randomly at a certain axis or but you know that's fine for now now global effects what that does is it gives the particles a certain gravity to go to like if I would turn the z the global effects on the z axis here from minus 9.8 which is the normal gravity speed or or something like that about there and of course I'll pay then they all go down you can have it on the y axis and on the x axis and you know you can just do all these things for certain effects and there's drag and brown and damp and that's to make it slower like it's being affected by certain things visualization right now it's point so if you see right now there's little points coming out but if I put it on billboard little billboards come out these billboards come out and you can mess around with materials with that and get a cool smoke effect object you can customly um, make an object let's say you make little cubes like one cube and you put that object name here I'll just show you real quick and mesh cube scale that down move it over size it down a little bit press M 2 to move it on the second layer press Q type cube in there and if you press Alt A or wherever this cube is as you see it emits so it emits where it emits wherever the cube is so we'd have to put it but you know just a really quick example of that so there's object and then there's you know circles and stuff but points of points are fine for now now you can show the velocity and if you look really closely you see the little pins fly out and that's showing the, how fast they're going show the size see but that's very that's not even worth it you can show which number each one has but I don't see the point of having that draw size how big they are and this displays out of 100% how many it shows or how many are rendered now you can have a die on hit that means if you turn go here and you turn collision on and it hits another object with the with collision on then it would then the particle dies sticky it sticks to that object as long as you don't have die on hit on and um there's all um, different types of things it can affect itself you can have it can have children let's say put particles on radio have them spin around then each one of these has a child to it you know you can do different things like that and if you want it to come out just one certain area you go to weight paint paint a certain object um, certain place on the object object mode and then it created a vertex group you can change that to whatever you want change it to B or you change it to weight or whatever and you go here you press that press Alt A and where is it but that's the, the basics of it and um, you can play around with that and be sure to watch part 2 and check out my blog at cdanimator.blogspot.com and that's it so, thanks for watching.